With some news you can use, news will leave a bruise. Uh, the draft was this past week. Uh, Friday night, it started on SmackDown, continued on uh, to Monday night, last night on Raw. couple NXT call-ups, Zia Lee, uh, Ridge Holland, uh, going to be heading up. And, of course, uh, Hit Row Records all getting called up to the main roster. I think, I believe, all going to SmackDown as well. Yeah. Good for Hit Row. Uh, get on the big stage in front of, like, the biggest audience. And um, they're going to do great. I, I mean, you know provided that creative does their part, like they're going to do great. I really think so. Um, and, um, you know, Ridge Holland, uh, he, he's got such, such upside, man. That guy, I, like, I'm a big fan of that guy. Um, uh, from the moment I saw him down at the performance center. Um, and so, I mean, he's been down there, in, in the system down there for a minute, but not a long time. Like, not like, okay, Jesus Christ. What are we, you know, like when they going to do something with this guy? So some people are surprised he got called up already. I'm not, I think he's ready, you know? Um, and that's what that NXT, I, I mean, look, uh, they're, um, they're supposed to be a developmental, you know, brand or whatever. And, you know, to, you know, get guys ready for the main roster, quote unquote main roster. If that's how they're doing it again, and if that's the case, then this is the right thing to do with these people. Um, and Zia Lee as well, man. Like she's, I'm a huge fan of hers too. You heard me talk about her. Oh, uh, dude, um, I, I'm stoked for her on SmackDown because, like, you know, not that it's good, not that it's good or bad, but Raw, I feel like caters oftentimes a little bit more to kids, and, and SmackDown has a little bit more of an edge to it. You know, they seem they seem to want to go for you know young adults a little bit harder. Uh, more sports centric, I guess, is maybe the words I'm using for with the product over on Fox. Man, nobody says like killer athlete like Zia Lee. I mean, you just look at her the way she moves, all the martial arts. I, I, I think she's going to be a dynamite over on SmackDown on Friday nights. I'm really excited about yeah. it. And just her, the way she presents herself in all, like, in every manner, you know, um, she just, it's really impressive. Like mm -hmm. I'm, her social media game is tight. Like I mean, not that that's like a you know it is the, though, the, but it's huge these days. Like today's today's uh, pro wrestler, um, you have to be your own producer, all that shit. You know, uh, so yeah, um, yeah, big fan of Zaya's, obviously. Fucking, I don't know. Yeah. it's about the tenth time I've said that in this segment. <laughs> Sure, sure. And, you know, it sounds like they're trying to create a big uh, star for China as well, which is going to be great, you know, for them to be able to break into that market and have somebody that they can market over there. You know, because Zia Lee's backstory, I think Hunter's talked about it on a couple of the calls, is crazy. Like, she came from a very rural part of China. Like, the whole experience of coming to the States and being in the performance. I mean, what a what a story, man. That's like, I mean, I don't know if it was, was it her that got disowned or, like, some crazy. It was, like, some really crazy, like sacrifice she made to for this shit you know yeah it was her family like and, and i think it was like her like the country she had to make a choice or something yeah. like that like to decide to stay in the states and it was very very difficult i know exactly what you're talking about yeah, yeah. for sure um well uh yeah big big news there with all the nxt call-ups coming up uh the draft overall i thought was really enjoyable i was at replay lincoln park host a party with a bunch of fans made a lot of new fans everybody seemed to enjoy themselves and uh, unlike uh, last year, where I thought SmackDown just like kind of swept the board, Raw got a lot of big talent this time. I mean, Becky Lynch moving over to Raw, Edge, Seth Rollins. I thought that there's a good haul for for Raw this time around. Hey, so I've been seeing like you know uh, and reading some shit, and um, it seems now like as opposed to in the past, like you know the 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 draft and all that stuff it was just like another gimmick for you know ratings on the show or whatever but like man these networks are really like getting behind the shit hey no we need the, like they're fighting for fucking talent on their show right oh a hundred percent usa yeah. like nbc versus fox over like who gets the best talent right I kind of wish we saw more of that. Like, I'm yeah. real. I would be really intrigued to see the actual negotiations with with USA and Fox, kind of to figure out who gets who on each brand. You know, Charlotte was the big get from Raw to SmackDown. I guess the Fox executives really wanted Charlotte Flair, so they got Charlotte Flair. Yeah. You know? So you got Jacob Allman fighting to get you on your show. You're gonna probably get him. Hey, and you know what? Those USA execs, they were smart. They brought, they got Gable Stevenson out of nowhere. I don't know how that was going to work, Sean. This guy is still in school. 
He's fighting for the NCAA Division Championship, and he's also a Raw superstar at the same time. That is a lot. That's a lot at 22, you know? Yeah, dude, just a fucking gold medalist in the Olympics. Dude, that's not a lot. Do you? It's do you, another fucking day at work, dude. Come on, this, man. These are high. These are fucking people that that they operate on a fucking level that you and I can't. And and dude, I've operated on a pretty high level, but right. you and I can't even fucking fathom it, Nick. Do you do you put him right in? Do you have him start wrestling? Do you put him in a group? You know, to just no. kind of no. Just take your time, man. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you don't like you don't want to you don't want to get him hurt either, right? You know? So. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, um, talking about people getting hurt, one man who has reckless disregard for human life, it would seem, is uh, Arn Anderson, a.k.a. Armed Anderson. That's what CM Punk's calls him. So last week on Dynamite, he cuts this promo trying to get, you know, Cody Rhodes all hyped up, trying to find that darkness, that inner, you know, evil to battle Malachi Black. And he has this line about how he's the kind of guy that, you know, if somebody pulls him over on the side of the road, and I'm paraphrasing here, He'll get out, pull his Glock out, put it up to their head, and, and blast their brains out. And, you know, talk no, about- it wasn't. Dude, come on. You got to get it right, though. Okay. <laughs> it was no, this funny. is fucking important, dude, because he's talking about someone trying to carjack him, not right. just some fucking dipshit coming up to his car door and he's going to blow his head off. He's talking right. about someone carjacking him. And right. he said, fuck you. I'm going to blow your fucking head off. It's way different. Nick. <laughs> well, way different. Right. I was paraphrasing here. I'm trying to find the exact uh, Glock promo lines of dialogue here. But, yes, it was if he was getting carjacked, he would pull yeah. the Glock out and defend himself by blowing somebody's brains out. Even I'm with him. I'm fucking with him. <laughs> and I've never owned a gun ever. You know, my question, my question is, do, does this, you know, I, when, I was, when I was taught to cut promo stuff, killing, death, that was kind of a line I was told to not cross. But at this past week, Arn, the Glock thing, Goldberg's like, I'll murder you, Bobby Lashley, out in the desert. I, 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 I don't know how you feel about it being taken to those lengths. I, Arn's was natural. The, 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 the Goldberg stuff was a little bit more forced, in my okay. opinion. It didn't seem as, it did, the shit would fuck Arn, did, that shit just came rolling off Arn's tongue. <laughs> so you think just great, great promo that Arn cut on Dynamite. Fucking great. Awesome. Yeah, I agree. That I'm was a sure funny. there's going to be some people that, Totally disagree with me, and I could give two fucks. <laughs>